As you know, we're coming up in almost 20 hours into this manhunt. We are awaiting word from authorities here any minute for an update in a press conference. And as you just mentioned, Robin, that suspect is still on the run, Kenneth DeHart Jr. And we do know that he is already facing charges, one charge of first degree murder in the death of Deputy McCowan and also a charge of attempted first degree murder in the shooting of Deputy Eggers. So reporter Elizabeth Cunningham is digging into more on that suspect's background. DeHart's rap sheet shows numerous charges in both Blunt and Sevier County over the past 20 years. They include things like possession of a weapon as a violent felon, aggravated assault, domestic violence assault, and violating a protection order. He's also served time in federal prison. Now, this was connected to a 2004 event police said happened in Pigeon Forge. He was in a vehicle with someone that had been pulled over. He gave police a fake name. He told them he was going to kill himself and held a gun to his head, and he wasn't supposed to have that weapon. When we went to the Blount County Justice Center today and received these documents, we saw that he has been charged with violating a protection order numerous times in the past few years, as well as aggravated assault. Now, in this case, he's facing charges of first-degree murder, attempted first-degree murder, and possession of a weapon by a violent felon. I talked to a neighbor who was not awake last night when everything happened, but they told me that they are praying for everyone within the Blount County Sheriff's Office. Back to you.